a I terrible just, angle. Well, yeah, I'm trying to stabilize this thing even. <laughs> Jinx up hitting, hitting every bump. At the I'm bottom. Like, What's going on? <laughs> We still have the leak. Found out that uh, we do have to remove everything from our fridge, so we're about to go do that uh, and right now. Secure everything. So Just we put everything in a box and put yet. it underneath it. It won't take too long to do all of that. I tried to take it by today. Uh, we don't know how long it's going to take, or if they have to order a part. To order a part, that's it's going to be. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do all this, but we'll figure it all out. Basically, our life yeah. is just all up in the air at all times now. Yeah. So that, that's fun. We just don't know where we're going to be or what we will be living in. Everything is an adventure. Yeah, this, it really is. So. And it has been kind of reminding me to just take things one day at a time. But with floods, just focus on surviving that day. We have a leak. Oh, let's figure out how to fix it. And we can figure out where to live from there. Oh, and we're also, while we're there, we're going to check on the air thoughts on the tire pressure monitoring system. There's a couple other things that we're going to get through the list. We have a list of things that we're going to take care of and we're going to let you guys know what we end up getting. Yep. That's I mean. it for now. So that's today's video. That's today's adventure. So first on the list, we have a bunch of stuff that we've been storing under the trailer that we're putting over here and just getting it out of the way so that whenever we do move the trailer, of course, we don't run over that stuff. These are going to be things that we would keep in our truck whenever we get that truck bed cover. So our generator, our cooler, Brady's kennel over there. We just don't have anywhere to store them as of right now, so they've been junking up the underneath of the trailer. It looks really, really classy, I know. So we just unhooked our water and electric. I'm checking all of the little panels and making sure everything is closed. We already dumped our gray water. You guys know we don't use our black water yet, so we don't have to touch that. The next is hooking up the hitch, right? So I also took everything out of the fridge. We're not gonna have fridge power right now. And I shoved it in Matt's parents' fridge. Otherwise we would have to put it in a cooler and haul it with us. Um, we just didn't want to have to mess with that today. So we've got some stuff with us because we don't know if we're gonna have to stay in a hotel tonight. And then the rest of the stuff is in there. I think we've got everything done. I can definitely see how a checklist will help. Today we're just kind of trying to beat the weather. We're just trying to get that taken care of as soon as possible and get out of here so we can get the pop out fixed. You got that side, right? You can see that side? All right, just go slow. Ooh, big branch. Okay, now can I get in? All right, you guys, we're on the highway. We got Flint Rock Wood behind us. I think we're doing okay. The trailer is still behind us. Someone's about to make me look bad in here in a second. <laughs> look, he has more truck than me. I just want to put that out there right now. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh wait, his trailer has a trailer. Oh my gosh. Come on, guy. That's a that's a nice one. We'll get there. We'll get there. Man. All right, guys, we made it. Here we are again. We're gonna unhook real quick. We're leaving the RV here. They're gonna work on it. Did he say about how long? Uh, how long so. We can run this out anyway. Okay, so we will see you guys in a bit. So you guys will be happy to see that we just got 90 degree water connector thing that so many people have recommended. Drinking water safe. So we have hose. 75 feet of hose now. Safer. Good hose. Trying to think of something interesting to say. Yeah. We're in the car, obviously. The RV has dropped off. It is now raining on and off, which I guess it's good that we're getting it fixed because that's the issue in the first place is the leak. We don't know how long it's going to take, so we're going to be staying at my parents' house tonight. The dogs are with his parents. I only brought clothes for tomorrow, but he's thinking we might have to stay two nights out of the RV. No, I'm just prepared for it. I'm not. Yeah. So that's that. <laughs> And now we're trying to figure out food, if you can even eat food, I or if you eat, can't eat food ever. I can eat food. I'm just trying to stick with my macros this time. Where do you want to go first? I'm not even sure where we want to go first. 
Three, we just need to make sure that the leak is fixed and check the weather because it's every week it rains and we don't want to go somewhere if it's going to be storming like it did last week. Overall, I think the drive to the RV place today was a lot less nerve-wracking than the first one. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of jolting. No. Only at lower speeds this yeah. time. Yeah. That has decreased a lot. I don't know if we did something right. <laughs> Maybe I did something right this time. <laughs> um, but the whole, this thing was a lot better. Uh, the only time that we really noticed it was going slow and when we would hit bumps, which is kind of a given. Like you would, I would oh, yeah. assume that that would happen. Um, but yeah, that was, that was a lot better. So that's good. Um, I think we, we decided that we're going to get a tire pressure monitoring system. We're going to go ahead and get one of those electrical ones. I found one on Amazon. It's about 180, which is a good amount of money. But as we were driving, um, you know, we're checking in our mirrors, trying to check the tires when if you have the electrical device, at least it gives you feedback as you're driving. Yeah. Um, you know, we do for long trips too. We do plan on stopping and making sure everything is good without always relying on electronic stuff but it will be nice to have that for reference as we drive versus just wondering i kept hearing like explosions and babies crying and okay well maybe not the baby thing what? but we heard <laughs> lightning but we kept thinking Thunder. like yeah is that a blowout we didn't hear lightning is that a china bomb yeah but like is there a blowout i don't know if we'd be able to feel it because of the, the axles but yeah all in all i'd say it was a, a successful drive up um I think that, I mean, as you guys have been talking about, and as we know, it's just going to get better with time. Every trip, I think, will get better. We'll feel more comfortable. Um, I was a little frantic <sighs> whenever we were trying to get everything ready because it was just about to rain. We wanted to make sure and get out before the rain. Um, so. We did. We did. We did. Yay! Uh, so we really are going to be doing this. Yeah. We're stuck. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been stuck. Yeah, we're stuck. We're stuck for we're stuck good. With it. It's stuck with us. <laughs> you know? That's I mean, positive, right? I mean, as far as living in it, it's been awesome, I think. Living in the RV itself has been great. Um, I don't have any... The only complaint I have is the bathroom, but that's because we don't want to use the black tank while we're stationary for weeks at a time. Of course, if we're at an RV park or somewhere and that they have a dump blackwater dump i don't know what to call it if they have that it's not an issue so i can use the toilet but it is pretty annoying whenever it's 3 a.m and i have to go to the bathroom and go outside not in the woods uh, no but i have to go outside yeah to go to the bathroom inside you don't have to deal with it it's still you a can first just world open problem. the flap and i do have to deal with it Okay, the next clip, you guys, um, if you're not interested in the powerlifting portion, I'm going to update y'all on my lifts and my powerlifting training and the meet coming up on June 17th, so that will be coming next. Uh, Matt is going to be working out with me tomorrow morning, and he worked out with me on Friday, which was awesome! I have some footage for you guys to see of the main lifts, and I'll talk about my training and how that's going and the whole cutting process. You ready to go work out? It's going to be the next clip. Time warp. To working out. Or time more to working out. Ready? Or me trying to get out of a workout. I'll show you guys the uh, official powerlifting bench setup. I've never done this before, but all the cool powerlifters do it online. I'm gonna try it and see how it works. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna feel miserably. But Matt's here, so I'm not gonna feel as stupid. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Your feet. <laughs> Your feet. <laughs> you just slide up. <laughs>